So this question says function f is defined by f of x equals x plus 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 1. Function g is defined by g of x is equal to f of x minus 1. The graph of y equals g of x in the xy plane has x-intercepts at a0, b0, and c0. So that's our g of x-intercepts, where a, b, and c are distinct constants. What is the value of a plus b plus c? Well, we could figure out what each of the intercepts are based upon the relationship between g of x and f of x. So for f of x, for instance, I actually know that my x-intercepts, so I should put an arrow here, not an equal sign, my x-intercepts are at negative 6, negative 5, and negative 1. I know that because those are the values for which, if I plug those values for x into either of these x positions, I'd get 0 out as a y value. And our x-intercepts are always basically the x values where y is equal to 0. That's the very fundamental definition of an x-intercept. What does x equal when y equals 0? So I know that's what my, my x-intercepts are, I'm sorry. Now, here, let me just erase so we can be really clear. I'm told that g of x is equal to f of x minus 1. Well, what does that do? f of x minus 1 shifts the f of x graph to the right one unit. It shifts everything to the right one unit, which means my g of x x-intercepts should be the same as my f of x x-intercepts, but shifted to the right one unit. So if I shift negative 6 to the right one unit, I'm at negative 5. From negative 5, I'd be at negative 4. And negative 1, I'd be at 0, basically. So those are, those are my x-intercepts for g of x. So therefore, a would equal negative 5, b would equal negative 4, and c would equal 0. So the question is asking for a plus b plus c. Well, that's just negative 5 plus negative 4 plus 0, and that is negative 9. So the answer here is negative 9. Now you may ask, well, how did I know that f of x minus 1 means to shift to the right one unit. Well, it comes down to understanding graph translation. Um, Any time, I'll just do it like this. Any time you have a value added into the parentheses along with x, it's going to be a horizontal shift. If the value is positive, you're actually going to shift to the left. If it's negative, you shift to the right. Anytime you add a value or subtract a value outside parentheses, it's going to be a vertical shift. If what you add is positive, you're shifting the whole graph up. If what you, what you add there is a negative, or if you subtract something, you're going to shift the entire graph down. So this is good to know. It works for parabolas. It works for really anything that you can graph, so any quadratic that you can graph. Um, any line that you can graph as well that is in function form. So keep this in mind. It may be useful on other questions.